Oxygen OS is one of the best implementations of Android currently available. Instead of offering a heavily customized interface like its Chinese rivals, OnePlus has kept things simple, adding a few differentiating features on the top of a vanilla user interface. There are enough tweaks and gestures that lets you customize your experience, but the focus is on performance. If you are a OnePlus 6 user, then you may know that the Oxygen OS based on Android Pie is already out and it has some new tricks up its sleeve. And that's exactly why today I'll be showing some amazing tricks of Oxygen OS based on Android Pie. Excited? So let's get started. Launch Google Assistant with Power Button the biggest and the coolest new trick is that the Google Assistant can now be accessed by holding the power key briefly. It's very fast. I had not opened Google Assistant in a long time on this phone and it opened right up to the voice control pop-up immediately. It also does not seem to interfere with turning off the display. To enable it, head over to setting, then button and gesture and toggle on the quick activate the assistant app option. That's it. Now press and hold the power button for 0.5 seconds to launch Google Assistant app. Custom Accent Color This feature has been in Oxygen OS for a long time and it's always one of the first things I activate. The option to change the background color of the menus can be found in the display settings. You will have three choices, default, light and dark. In addition, you can personalize the accent color on any OnePlus smartphone running Oxygen OS. Previously, there were just 8 different accent colors to choose from. But now you can customize your own accent color which is quite useful for users like me who are into customization. Log Landscape Mode For those of us who hate the accidental rotation of their phone's display after a sudden movement, Android has always included the ability to lock the screen in portrait mode. However, let's say you lock your screen in portrait mode but want to read an article which is easier to view in landscape. Currently, the only way to switch orientation was to re-enable auto-rotation from the quick settings. But with Android P, this just got a whole lot easier. When you lock your display orientation and shift your device to landscape, a new icon will appear in your navigation bar to left of the back button. Selecting this button will change the orientation to landscape and lock the rotation. When you want to return to portrait mode, you can rotate your phone then select the same button to adjust your display and lock the position. Useful Screenshot Tools Taking a screenshot is now as simple as pressing and holding the power button, then tap screenshot. The old method of holding the power and volume down in at the same time still works of course. In addition to new screenshot shortcut, Android Pie gains a new edit feature. As soon as your screenshot is saved, the preview notification will display an edit button. Selecting edit will open a markup tool for you to draw, crop or highlight the screenshot before sharing it. Take a photo with fingerprint sensor. Apart from navigation gestures, OnePlus also has extensive on-screen and off-screen gesture support. Go to setting then gesture and you can access options like double tap to wake. But did you know you can also use your fingerprint sensor as a shutter. Quite useful in clicking selfies right? Enable new navigation gestures Apart from rearranging navigation buttons, you can also completely replace them with navigation gestures on Oxygen OS. And now we have two of them. A simple swipe up from the middle will take you home and a swipe from either side will act as back. Swipe and hold from the center for recent apps. Now this is OnePlus's own navigation gesture. But with Android Pie, they have also integrated the pixel style navigation gesture which is actually much more refined than what we have seen on pixel devices. But yeah, it uses the same mechanism. Access hidden space OnePlus has also added a hidden space where you can hide apps. You can shift apps you need to keep private from the app drawer to hidden space. To move them back, just long press the icon. To access hidden space, you will have to open the app drawer and then drag the hidden space from the sidebar on the left. Turn on auto call recording. OnePlus has a very elaborate call recorder built in. You can turn auto call recording on for all calls, for specific contacts or for favorite contacts. In fact, you can access the option to turn on auto call recording from the menu that pops up when you ring a contact. You cannot however turn it off the same way. To turn call recording off, open the phone app. Click on triple dot menu and select settings. You will see call recorder option at the top. From here, you can switch off auto call recording. Improve face unlock in low light. The face unlock on the OnePlus 6 is extremely fast. You can however improve accuracy in low light by turning on face unlock assistive lightning. You can access the option from setting, then go to security and lock screen, here you will find this face unlock option. 
custom actions. In Oxygen OS, you can assign secondary functions to all three of the on-screen buttons. Each button can have two secondary functions, launched by either a long press or quick double tap. There are seven options in total, which include opening recent apps, launching search assistant, turning off the screen, opening the camera, voice search, opening the last used app and opening shelf. You will find the option in the same setting menu under button category. Enable quick search. A simple swipe up from the home screen opens the app drawer. If you want the gesture to open app search and to trigger keyboard in one go, you can enable quick search. This way you can get to apps that you are looking for in no time. To do so, open the app drawer. Now tap the menu icon on the corner and select enable quick search. I would have liked this option to access phone setting and contact through quick search as well. But for now you can only use it to search through apps on phone or on play store. Gaming mode. Gaming mode is one of the few new software features OnePlus has added to Oxygen OS. The OnePlus 6 is an excellent phone for gaming and the new gaming mode gives you some useful options to avoid interruptions. The gaming mode can be used to route all calls via speaker, to turn off pop-up notification while gaming, to keep brightness unchanged, to channel data to gaming app on a priority basis and also offer a gaming battery saver option. This is something hardcore gamers will appreciate. Schedule Do Not Disturb The alert slider has been a mainstay on OnePlus devices since OnePlus 2 and this year the feature is getting an update that makes it easier to use. Now you can use the alert slider to toggle between ring, vibrate and silent modes with DND getting its own set of features. You will finally be able to set up custom rules for do not disturb and configure a preset time so it kicks in automatically. No more toggling the alert slider every night. Lift up mode Lift up mode is one of the amazing features that isn't switched on as a standard. It uses phone sensor to determine when you pick up the phone and then bring up a clock display that also shows your battery level and notification icons. Oh, and a predefined message. You will find this setting in the display option. Quick Pay One of the India-centric features on the Oxygen OS is Quick Pay. If you frequently pay merchants using Paytm, you can activate Quick Pay and directly open Paytm payment page by long pressing the fingerprint scanner. So guys, which of the above trick you like the most? Do you know of any other trick that I should have added to this list? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.